Well, I wasn't expecting this. So, anyways, how's it going, you guys? It is Paydeco64 back at it again with another NASCAR news discussion. Recent news has just broke down today, or has recently come out today. And um, the news is, and that the news is, is that Danica Patrick has revealed her plan, has revealed what she was. What she's going to do for the NASCAR, for her NASCAR career. You know, what she's going to do. She is stepping away from full-time racing in the Cup Series. Her final race, well, her final race, her final full-time race will be the Ford um, um, 400 this Sunday. And her last and final NASCAR race will be the Daytona 500 from next year. And she will actually be, and other, and and as a matter of fact, she is going to run in the 2018 Indianapolis 500, or the 102nd Indianapolis 500. I was not expecting this to drop. I mean, to be honest, so today I was watching the qualifying for, for today's race, and then they showed, um, and, yeah, and then they showed her press conference, and and she basically said that uh, she's not gonna like race full time. And she's not gonna race full time anymore, you know. And she's only gonna be racing in both the the Daytona Five Hundred and the Indy Five Hundred. And she kind of did get emotional about it. I'm like, oh man, or, or I'm like, damn, you know. But um, um, yeah. But any, but yeah. Anyways, um. You know, to be honest, I have been kind of harsh on Danica for for a long time, for a while now, and um, you know, for kind of for a uh, lack of lack of performance, you know, and all that stuff, you know, but really she has not had that much of of an ex of a su successful NASCAR career, I would say. I mean, the only thing she's really done was win a pull at the Daytona 500. She has a few top 10s. And that's kind of basically it. I mean, she hasn't even gotten a win at all. And by win, she hasn't even, like, make the playoffs. Which... Which, yeah, that is kind of... Which... Which... Yeah, like that's kind of, but yeah, not really a, a successful NASCAR career, I would say. But yeah, but hey, I mean to be honest, you can't really blame. I mean to be honest, you could blame her because I meant like because um because you know um. You know, I mean, hey, this was going to happen eventually. You know, Danica Patrick was going to, is was probably going to not come back to, to Stuart Haas Racing. And, and, and that, and that turned out to be, and that turned out to happen this year. And that, that turned out to happen. So, so yeah, that happens. You know. And then Eric Amarola literally steps into her tent, so there's this steps into her ride. So, yeah. Now, one thing I would say Danica Patrick has done, and that is she's brought a bunch of you know female fans. You know, a lot of women look up to her, which, um, which to be honest, which to be honest, that's kind of brought more NASCAR fans. But now, since she's kind of um, she's going away, it's really gonna be. You know, um, it's really gonna be weird without seeing her in the Cup Series. Also, what happens if, uh... <laughs> I'm just messing around, so, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff around me, so... Yeah. So, yeah, I meant, I meant, like, really. I meant, really. Now, now, t now, to be honest, I was kind of harsh on her a couple times, like, for, like, you know, like... I think in the Eric Almarola video saying how oh she wrecked a bunch of race cars and stuff like that and cost Tony Stewart a lot of money. Well, yeah, but um, well Danica Patrick, um, like I said, she hasn't had the most successful NASCAR career. Now, now, am I, now, what am I expecting her to do 
in our final NASCAR race and our final IndyCar race. Well, what I'm kind of expecting for her, I don't know, maybe get a good finish, you know. Get a good finish at Homestead, you know, um... I'm not saying top 10, like top 20, I would say, top 20. So yeah, for Daytona 500, I don't know, maybe she could get in our top 10 if she's not involved in the wreck, which to be honest, which to be honest, that's the one thing I think the people has been complaining. Which to be honest, I think the one thing people remember about Danica Patrick now is she has taken the hardest hits ever in NASCAR hits history. 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 Now, history, you know? History and what about for or indie car series? Now I don't watch indie car all that much, but one thing is for sure, maybe I'm expecting her maybe to win. Maybe not, no, not um, maybe I'm expecting her to get a top ten. Okay, maybe a top ten at the Indy Five Hundred. You know, heck, you don't even know. She could probably win the race. I mean, to be honest, I'm pretty sure when she goes back to in when she but when when she goes back to open wheel. It's gonna be it's gonna be um pretty much easy for her. You know, I mean she's really good at oval tracks and in any car. You know? And there has been times where Danica Patrick has been kinda close to winning a race, you know, like there was a um, some race in Canada or something like that. And for the NASCAR Xfinity series, I didn't even knew the NASCAR that the NASCAR Xfinity series r ran in Canada, but she ran over a shoe and that messed up her day, you know. And she dropped, and she um, said the f bomb on live TV. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, and so. So yeah, I'm expecting her to do that. Now we do not know who she will be driving for. Now, now uh, I may see some people saying Pensky or I don't know. Pensky, I'm not so sure. I mean, what kind of spawn? I mean, one. I don't think Rod. I mean, Roger Penske only owns. Next year, he's gonna run the two, uh, two, the twelve, and the twenty-two. So, um, what else? What else is another number that he can do? I mean, like serious. I don't really know. So yeah. Uh, Chip Ganassi Racing. I don't know what other numbers he has. He has the forty-two and the one. And then there's um. Well, I actually kind of su suggested this. I I commented this on David Land's video on the on David's Land video, but why? I mean, could he pos should should could she possibly race for Tommy Baldwin Racing? You know, like I mean, hey, Danica Patrick's um first, I mean, Danica Patrick's number in NASCAR, her first number in NASCAR was seven, and Tommy Baldwin owns the seven car, so. That could happen. Hey, maybe they'll do another throwback paint scheme. You know, like they're doing with the other NASCAR drivers. You know, like an old GoDaddy paint scheme. You know, but with different kind of sponsor stuff like that. And now for your IndyCar one, I don't know if if Andretti Autosport would want to have her come in to the come to to his team. I don't know. If Marco Andretti would want to run. What kind of cars he has? He has. So he has. Ryan Hunter Ray, uh, Alexander Rossi, Takuma Sato, who else? Um, uh, I'm, I'm swear there's another driver. I swear there's another driver. Uh, I can't remember the top of my head. So I'm not even gonna try to remember. So yeah, maybe he'll pick her up, you know, or something like that. But um. But, but oh yeah, um, uh, uh, Marco Andretti, yeah, yeah, and wait, yeah, Marco Andretti, yeah, no, that's another one, yes, and hey, or and to be honest, I don't know if um, if Fernando Alonso is gonna run in the in the, in the Indianapolis Five Hundred next year, but. Or I don't know, but I I guess Danica's good with Honda, so yeah. So yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, that's just my opinion. Um, it's really gonna be weird not seeing Danica in the in NASCAR anymore. So yeah, Danica. 
uh, you've um, you've been a, a great addition to the sport. You brought a bunch of fans over. You know, you're a great marketing machine. And hey, get and hey, Danica, get. I expect you to finish good in your final races. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, subscribe, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. And I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.